Sean Don here, Program 5 Recap, coming in hot. Welcome back friends. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to take a second to let you guys know that my new coaching website is live. Go check it out at www.gripandrip.co. So if you're a thrower who's in need of online coaching, whether it be technical analysis, throwing programming, lifting programming, whatever it is you need, I got you. The site is linked below down in the description, so go check it out and hit your boy up if you got any questions. I'm here to help. So, program five recap. Let's get into it. This is cycle two of four of my winter meso cycle. I moved up to the 18 pound hammer, my first heavy hammer of the season. Typical specific warm up for me. Started out with stick drills, ended up dropping these about halfway through the program after I realized I didn't really fit the technical model I was working on. And then onto some 9K winds to build some special strength and stability to make the 18 pound feel a little bit more manageable. And then I finish up with some easy turns with the 18 pound hammer. Just trying to build feelings and connection. Slowly I'm adding in more and more volume week to week and program to program. This first week I started out with 12 full throws and by week three I worked up to 16 full throws. So usually the transition to heavier hammers is usually pretty tough for me and this program was no exception. I had decent feeling and strength at the start but I struggled to stay in the ring consistently the first week or so. Didn't quite have that connection I think because my general strength wasn't quite where it needs to be just yet, but that's okay because I'm taking it slower this year. The most important part of this cycle for me was the technical focus though. I essentially did a technical overhaul and the changes have been great. It was kind of like learning how to throw a hammer backwards in a way. My approach has gotten much simpler because of that and it has largely benefited my consistency once I started to really figure it out. If you pay attention to the orbit of my throws over the course of this cycle, you can kind of see that it changes a good bit and it has helped to make the throw feel a bit more effortless. The finer details of this technical enlightening are available over on my Patreon, so if you want the down low, click the link down in the description and sign up to get access to my full catalog of secret training videos and ideas. Overall though, I really enjoyed this cycle. My back was a little angry because of the new technical changes I was making, but I managed to keep it at bay and I finished up the cycle with yet another trip up to LA to get out of my comfort zone and test myself. I was totally out of my routine, slept on an air mattress. I sat in traffic for an hour before an early morning practice in hot ass weather with almost no warm up, and I still managed a season's best of 68.10 with the 18 and probably my overall best practice in a while. It was a great confidence booster, no doubt about it. The momentum is really starting to roll and I'm finally starting to feel like my old self or perhaps even a new improved version. I'm excited to keep building. As for lifting, so program five lifting is essentially a continuation of the previous cycle. I focused on work capacity that once again there were two strength days and two speed days kind of split up over a 10 day period rather than a week long period. This cycle I did a little weight room testing and it went swimmingly I suppose. My one rep maxes were 110 kilos for snatch, 160 kilos for front squat, 170 kilos for a clean high pull, and 185 kilos for a back squat. I pretty much tied my estimated maxes for this program, which either means that I overshot them at the start and actually did get stronger over the course of the cycle, or I did a really good job at just maintaining strength. Either way, it doesn't really matter because throwing got better and I stayed relatively healthy. As a thrower, it's important to remember that lifting is just a means to an end and not an end in itself. There's no need to kill yourself and try to add 10 more pounds to your squat or clean if you're absolutely roasting your nervous system so you can't develop your technique or if you're risking injury. Quality throwing should usually always be your number one priority. That being said, I don't think I'm really going to be testing anymore this season. I find these jumps in intensity absolutely fried me. I'm going to be focused more on accumulation of volume for the next few cycles in an effort to build some strength, which I'm absolutely stoked for. Technique is really starting to line up, so I'm just waiting for my physical state to come back, and then I'll be ready to drop some bombs this season. So, just a reminder, go check out my Patreon if you're interested in seeing a more in-depth look at my training. It's linked below in my bio, just $10 to sign up. The very first live Q&A is coming up next week, so be sure to join in before then. Lots of good info going to be discussed there. Thank you to my current patrons. It's been cool to chat with you guys and answer your questions. I'm really enjoying the opportunity to share some of my more exclusive knowledge with you all.
So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you found value in this video, all I ask is that you share it with just one friend. It helps me grow my channel and spread the good word of hammer throw to all. So that's it. Thanks again. Remember, grip and rip, baby. Until next time, Sean Don signing off.